historian Dr. Nick Butler has become a fixture here at the Charleston County Public Library. Whether you listen to his podcast or attend one of his many programs, there's plenty of ways to learn from him. But in today's Meet Your Library Staff Spotlight, we'll focus on Nick's personal history. In 1976, you know, the big national bicentennial, my grandmother took me to Williamsburg, Virginia. And it was the summer of 1976. There was a lot of stuff going on about American history. I really fell in love with it, partially because you know, there are people in costume and they're, they're reenacting things, but as an eight-year-old, that seemed pretty cool. Before making history his career, Nick focused on music. I grew up playing several different instruments, um, the cello and a little bit of flute, and then drifted into the electric guitar and then uh, found myself playing classical guitar and really pursuing classical music because I wanted that academic training. And eventually, the passions for history and music mixed together. And I decided at one point that I was a better historian than I was performer. So I started out at the University of South Carolina. I did a bachelor's degree in classical guitar performance. And then I started a master's degree in classical guitar performance and then drifted into uh, music history more intensely and finished a master's degree in music history and literature. And then went to Indiana University and did a PhD in musicology, which is a big word for the history and philosophy of Western music. And I did a PhD minor in ethnomusicology which is the study of folk music, traditional musics around the world. And for my PhD minor, I focused on uh, musical traditions of the African-American community in the Low Country of South Carolina. Nick has worked at CCPL for 14 years, and now his job focuses on research, creating programs patrons can attend, and hosting the Charleston Time Machine podcast. He says he enjoys having the chance to share local history with the community. So I've spent time in the classroom speaking to tuition paying students who are generally rather fond of rolling their eyes and they generally don't ask a lot of questions. There are always a few students who are really engaged and ask a lot of questions. But when I do programs for the general public uh, on a variety of topics, there are always people there who are sincerely interested in learning more. So they ask good questions. And if they're not interested, they don't come. They're under no obligation to come to the library. So the people who come to my programs and other library programs do so because they're genuinely interested. And they come with questions that often challenge me. When I asked Nick what he does for fun. Well, I think most people would find that I'm a pretty boring person because I'm passionate about history and learning. And I am always cognizant of the fact that I have a lot to learn and so I'm always reading and studying and searching and I'm parked in front of a computer on my days off you know reading historic texts or searching for documents or reading online documents um, so I am not I don't lead a very a terribly exciting life but for me it's very fulfilling it's very interesting because I find things and I can't wait to share those things with audiences. As you can see Nick's love for history comes out in every conversation. If you'd like to attend one of his programs or listen to the Charleston Time Machine podcast just visit ccpl.org and I'll see you next Monday to meet your library.